What if a tick bites you? Imagine you are outside on a beautiful sunny day, playing in the grass, hiking in the woods, or maybe even rolling around in a pile of leaves. Hmm. Everything is fun and exciting. Until you get home, change your clothes, and suddenly feel something huh? tiny stuck to your skin. Hmm. You look closer, and there it is. A tick. It's small, round, and has little legs that seem to be gripping onto your skin. You might feel scared or grossed out. Hmm. But don't worry. Huh? Getting a tick bite is something that happens to huh? a lot of people. Hmm. And there huh? are simple ways to handle it. But what exactly happens when a tick bites you? Why do ticks bite in the first place? And what should you do if you find one on your skin? Let's dive into the world of ticks and learn everything you need huh? to know. What are ticks? Ticks are tiny creatures that belong to the arachnid family, which means they are related to spiders and scorpions. Hmm. Even though they are super small, sometimes as tiny as a poppy seed, they can be a big problem because they bite animals and people to drink their blood. Ticks do not fly or jump, but they are really good at climbing onto grass, bushes, <laughs> and even trees, waiting for something warm and alive to pass by. <laughs> when an animal or person brushes against them, the tick grabs on and starts looking for a place to bite. Why do ticks bite? Ticks bite because they need blood to survive. Unlike mosquitoes, which only drink a little bit of blood before flying away, ticks attach themselves to the skin and stay there for hours or even days. They use their sharp mouth parts to break the skin and suck up blood, just like a tiny vampire. Ticks have a special trick to make their bite less noticeable. When they bite, they release a special saliva that numbs the skin, so most people don't feel the bite when it happens. That's why a tick can stay on a person's body for a long time without them realizing it. Hmm. Where do you find ticks? Ticks live in many outdoor places, especially where there are lots of animals and plants. You might find ticks in tall grass, bushes and shrubs, leaf piles, forests and hiking trails, parks and fields, they prefer warm and humid places, so they are most active during the spring, summer, and early fall. Hmm. If you spend time outdoors during these seasons, you should always check for ticks afterward. Huh? Hmm. Step by step, what happens when a tick bites? The tick grabs onto you. When you walk through grass or brush against plants, huh? a tick may crawl onto your skin or clothing. Hmm. It looks for a good spot. Ticks like to bite in warm, hidden areas like the back of your knees, under your arms, behind your ears, or even in your hair. Mm. It bites and starts feeding. Once it finds a good spot, the tick uses its sharp mouth to bite and attach itself to your skin. Mm. It stays attached for hours or days. The tick will suck blood slowly sometimes staying attached for three to five days, if not removed. Mm. It might drop off or get discovered. If the tick is not removed, it will eventually finish feeding and drop off. But most people find ticks on their skin before that happens. Mm. Are tick bites dangerous? Most tick bites do not cause serious harm. However, some ticks carry germs that can make people sick. Mm. These germs can enter the body through the tick's bite, leading to illnesses called tick-borne diseases. Hmm. Diseases that some ticks carry. Lyme disease. This is one of the most well-known tick diseases. Hmm. It can cause fever, tiredness, muscle aches, and a rash that looks like a red ring or bullseye. Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. This disease can cause a fever, rash, headache, and stomach pain, ehrlichiosis, and anaplasmosis. These are two other diseases that can make people feel sick with fever and chills. Not every tick carries these diseases, 
And not every tick bite will make you sick. But it's always a good idea to remove a tick quickly and watch for any symptoms afterward. Mm. What should you do if a tick bites you? <laughs> Step 1. Stay calm. First, don't panic. Tick bites are common, and most of the time they can be handled easily. Step 2. Remove the tick properly. It's important huh? to remove a tick as soon as you find it. Hmm. Here's how. Use tweezers. Find a clean pair of tweezers with a fine tip. Hmm. Grab the tick huh? close to your skin. Hold the tick Ooh. as close to the skin surface as possible. Hmm. Pull straight up, slowly and gently. Do not twist or crush the tick. Pull it out carefully so that no parts are left behind. Hmm. Clean the bite area. Hmm. Wash your hands and the bite area with soap and water or rubbing alcohol. Hmm. Step 3. Watch for symptoms. After removing the tick, keep an eye on the bite area for the next few weeks. Huh? If you notice a rash, fever, tiredness, or muscle aches, tell an adult right away. Hmm. A doctor may need to check for tick-related illnesses. Hmm. How to avoid tick bites. Even though tick bites can happen, there are many ways to prevent them. Wear long sleeves and pants. Covering your skin makes it harder for ticks to bite you. Hmm. Use bug spray, insect repellents that contain DEET to keep ticks away. Hmm. Stay on trails. When hiking or walking in the woods, stick to the center of trails to avoid brushing against <laughs> tall grass. Hmm. Do tick checks. After being outdoors, check your skin, scalp, and clothes for ticks. If you find one, remove it quickly. Hmm. What if a tick bites your pet? Ticks huh? don't just bite people. They love to bite dogs, cats, and other animals too. If you find a tick on your pet, use tweezers to remove it carefully, just like with people. Hmm. Check your pet often after they go outside. Hmm. Ask a vet about tick prevention. There are special medicines to protect pets from tick bites. Hmm. Conclusion! Tick bites might seem scary, but if you know what to do, they don't have to be a big problem. Ticks bite huh? because they need blood, and they often go unnoticed at first. Hmm. While most tick bites are harmless, huh? some ticks carry diseases, so it's important to remove them quickly and watch for symptoms. Hmm. By wearing protective clothing, using bug spray, and checking for ticks after being outside, you can greatly reduce your chances of getting bitten. Hmm. If a tick does bite you, staying calm and removing it properly will help keep you safe. Hmm. Now that you know all about ticks, you can enjoy the outdoors while staying smart and protected. Hmm.